this formula extracts duplicate values from a column. Copy this and paste it to a cell. And you need to change the cell references here. This cell reference here must point to the cell right above the current cell. So I'm working in this cell and this is the next cell above. And this cell range here is the list you want to extract duplicates from. So move that to and this also and this and the last one. And now press enter and copy the formula to cells below. And you can see here that this name is here, here, here. So it is a duplicate. How does this formula work? The county function makes sure that only one instance of each duplicate is shown and what it does is that it returns an array of values and the first argument is the value that is going to be count the four the county function counts this value in this cell range here and <clears throat> it's not found here so it returns a zero for this value this position or this value or if it is found here it returns one and you can see that the array is zero in all values and the next thing I'm doing is comparing that to a zero. But first I want to show you what happens in the next cell because this is the first argument has an absolute and a relative cell reference. So if I copy this once again and you can see here that the cell reference is here in this pointing to this cell up here and in the next cell the cell reference is pointing to this cell and this cell so it moves as you copy the formula to cells below and an equal sign and now the county function returns 1 in here and 1 here. So now the formula can keep track of the previous values. And then I'm comparing the array with the value 0. And this is a logical expression. So it returns true or false. And the array now looks like this. And the next county function is different. And it counts the values in this cell range with the values in this cell range. And it starts with the first value and it counts this value here and it's found three times here here and here so it returns three here and the next value is found only once so now now the formula know, knows where the duplicates are it's here 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 and so on
and these values here that return one is unique values they exist only once in this list so the next step is to look for values duplicate values so this logical expression here checks if the value in the array is larger than one and if it is it returns true for, for that value and now we know where the duplicates are the next step is to multiply this array with this array and I'm using parentheses so the calculation is and now you can see that the first value here returns true here and true here and true multiplied with true equals one and the next value true multiplied with false returns zero so this array here tells us where the duplicates are in this table and which values we have shown in previous cells so for this one uh, this name here now returns zero here but in this cell up here it returns one and I can show you that here it returns zero in this cell and one in this cell the formula then divides one with the array like this one divided and this will return an error if the formula returns zero and it returns one if it is returns one if it is one this is I need another parenthesis here and now zeros return an error and one return one so why do we want to have an error here that is because the lookup function ignores errors so Look up two in the first argument and then the array here and here is the formula and then in the third argument I want the name. and an ending parenthesis and now it returns this name here and the lookup function looks for number two in this array here and it ignores the arrows and matches the largest value that is smaller than two and in this case it matches the last one 
in this array. So, and the corresponding value is this name. So if we change this name up here, 